2024 Escape SE all-wheel drive. This one's a 200A package in the Oxford white paint. Really low kilometers on this vehicle, as we will see when we get to the interior. You're rolling on 17-inch machined aluminum alloy wheels. And this one has Continental tires on it. It's powered by the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine, so you get plenty of power here. And this one's also uh, fitted with the reverse parking sensors, so that, that's in addition to your reverse camera there. And taking a look in the back here, uh, it is all wheel drive, I should mention. Uh, you do have plenty of storage back here in this Escape. You can fold down the rearmost seats for even more. And as you can see, there is multiple seating positions for the rear passengers there, so they can recline a little bit. Uh, you do have your spare tire underneath here and a 12 volt power back here and some little uh, a little clip here if you just have like one bag of groceries, for example. Uh, coming around to the interior, you have dark earth gray cloth interior, really comfortable seats front and back. And then you do have some cup holders that fold down from the center here. Um, a 12 volt power back here, your own climate vents and some storage behind the uh, passenger seat. Coming around to the front of the vehicle, you do have a keyless entry keypad on the door here and keyless entry on the vehicle, of course. Uh, power windows and locks, uh, power uh, glass adjustable heated mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring on them. Automatic headlights and really comfortable bucket seats up front. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar. Stepping into the vehicle, you have a four inch digital display. As you can see, only 30,468 kilometers on here. Uh, this does have Ford Copilot uh, 360 assist package. So you do have adaptive cruise control um, and a lane keeping system on here as well. Voice activated navigation. There's your reverse camera. And you do have your climate controls here with your heated seats. Uh, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility on here. Uh, USB-C port, dial style shifter, different drive modes on the vehicle. So you have normal eco sport, uh, slippery and deep snow sand and then you do have uh, more storage in here as well as a USB-A port and some more storage over here in the glove box so really nice escape all the way around